Oh, hi, it's Rob, and I'm in the basement because uh, I have a problem. Uh, these are my servers. I've got one little Dell R310 down here, which has the four bays, and then I've got the 510 up here, which is bigger and has the 12. Uh, this one isn't on right now. This, this, isn't, this is a virtualization server, and it's uh, pretty much intended to be played with as I learn more about networking and things. But this I have set up as a NAS and it's dual striped, fully redundant arrays. It's only four terabytes because, you know, the 310 is a little old. It doesn't recognize uh, drives larger than two terabytes, which will give you an idea of how old it is. But it, uh, it decided to break down on me and not just the drives. I mean, it's like the whole system kind of took a big old fat dump. So I've had it unplugged for a couple days. I'm hoping it was just something that was temperature related. Although I suspect that as old as this thing is, it's probably not. It's probably something that needs more repair. But I'm going to plug it back in, turn it on and uh, watch it boot up and see if it comes back up or if it's got some bigger problems. And I'm heading into the back where it is all unplugged. Uh, these are going to be difficult. Uh, well, maybe they're not. These are really kind of amazing pieces of technology. I love rack service. All right. Let's turn it on. System booting. There we go. You know, this is like watching paint dry, right? This takes a few minutes. I got these as dumpster dives, which is why I have them now. They were, I mean, they'd be really expensive to buy, even used anymore, but. Uh, this one I've refurbished, um, put in two 6-core Xeons running at, I think, 3.1 megahertz, something like that. Uh, right, that all seems to be going okay. But this, I mean, this thing is totally ridiculous. These are, uh, I think these are... I think these are Western Digital red uh, three terabyte drives in here, and there's 12 bays, and it's full. Uh, IDRX6 Enterprise, okay, that's fine. Not doing remote access setup. I don't have a monitor on this one right now which is part of why it's not on. I have my firewall over here, which is on a different monitor around the side. Someday I should probably uh, redo all this, you know, in my spare time. PXE boot. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing a boot from network. So it's going to take some time with this. I have a UPS that is uh, a rack mount that's supposed to be going in here, but uh, right now it is not working. There's something with the voltage um, voltage monitoring system that thinks that it's always broken, uh, and the beeper keeps going off all the time. So that's unpleasant, and I'm looking to try and fix that at some point. It's going through its... Uh, it's boot up process. I booted it up into FreeNAS. And uh, see how this works. So far, it looks okay.
Yay! I do have this attached to a static IP address on my system, so... Hey. I think this might be working. All right, let's go check. And yes, indeed, it's alive. It shows up just fine. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that one first is because uh, the second part of this is something I was trying to make and I had shot footage for it and during the transfer of the footage to the edit machine the server died so I lost some of it and it's not entirely complete but it's close enough so I figured I would add this in and have a little bonus feature. <laughs> So, hey, lots of fun. What I'm doing now is I'm going to be drilling holes in this galvanized pipe that are big enough for these to go in. These are fog nozzles. They have a four thousandths inch nozzle on there. You can't even see it. Hello, come on. Where are we? There we go. You can't even see it with the naked eye, especially when it's not in focus. Um, but these are designed to be run under very high pressure. I think 600 PSI was what I saw when I was rating it, or when I was looking at it. And they come in a bag like this. There are 20 in here. Uh, I Actually, there aren't 20 in here anymore. Uh, but they have this weird thread. 3 sixteenths UNC. I had never heard of 3 sixteenths UNC before. And I went online and I looked for it and I didn't really see anything, so I went to the hardware store. Turns out that a 3 sixteenths UNC is exactly the same as a 1024, which is readily available at the hardware store. So I got this and a number, what is it, 24 drill. I'm going to drill some holes. I'm only going to do like three or four of them in this and give it a shot. So um, the idea is I want to see if it works before I put a whole lot more work into it. If it doesn't work, I'll just give up and you know, it doesn't really have to happen. But we're going to give it a go. I don't currently have any lubrication. I guess we'll find out if it's necessary first. Get it as close to centered as possible. That wasn't too bad. Went down about an inch. Not bad. Let's 
go one more. Good enough. So I've got four holes spaced roughly an inch apart. These are a little wider. I don't really care all that much. This is an experimental piece anyway. I'm not awfully concerned about the paper that's on here. That's it, It's not going to affect the outcome. I'm just drop a little bit of the uh, old Whiskey Dog 40 in here and give it a shot. Starting taps straight is a right pain in the butt. A really nice way of doing it is to use the drill press, but um, I'm not, as I am doing these by hand, in case you missed it. <clears throat> Back it out a little bit. Forward a little more. Ooh, hey, we're through. Yay. Now I'll just do this three more times and we're done. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this because I want to make sure that these are nice and deburred. using the back side of the razor knife. If I was going to do this right, I'd probably use a file, but don't have one right now. So let us try. Oh, baby, come on. She's a tight fit, but she goes in. Can we? Can we? All right, you know the drill. And there we go. Now, not exactly uh, high on my point for accuracy, but they are in. These three went in finger tight, which was pretty nice. This one took a little bit of a uh, little bit of persuasion, but they are in. They are tight. They are sealed. And now we're going to put the rest of it together. Put on some thread sealing tape. Always wind it in the direction that you want to use to tighten. Otherwise, it comes off. Then you got a real mess. On this end, we want the well. Good enough. The humidity is pretty high today. Uh, the basement is 
much cooler than outside, but I am still sweating. And there we go, nice and tight. Next is the end that gets connected to the pressure washer. So, oops. Yes, put the clamp on first. Make it much easier to actually clamp. <clears throat> hex driver would be better but I don't have one right here in handy well I do have a handy screwdriver Okay, there we go. All right, here we go, first run. Let's see what happens. Well, I can see they need to be tightened down. Yeah, that's more of a mist than a fog. Isis likes it. Oh, we got some uh, sprouting over here too. Hmm. Might need to put more uh, more nozzles in to make it uh, It's a nice mist though. I think these may be the things that they use at grocery stores. All right, let me shut this down. Isis is very happy with this. <laughs> well, okay. We know that it, in theory, works. It doesn't do what I wanted it to, so I probably uh, won't be doing this in any uh, great... Um, I'm probably... I'm. It's not going to work for what I wanted it to. Um... Isis is just very happy with hoses in general. She likes playing with hoses and water. Isis, no. Alright, well, it was an experiment. And uh, found out it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. I don't know, maybe it's something that needs a higher pressure in a smaller orifice. I don't really know. Anyway, toodles. So I've got more stuff coming. Uh, the garden is in. I've got a uh, new watering system for the plants in pots. And uh, I'm still kind of fiddling with it, adjusting it to try and get it right. But uh, it seems to be working okay. And I've got my refrigerator. The ice maker fan has frozen up. So now I have to do a thawing of the refrigerator. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all the food. So for now, I don't have an ice maker in the refrigerator, which is not a huge loss. But, uh, you know, it's all stuff that takes time and I need to fix. Which is what I do a lot of around here. This is the house of eternal fixes. Uh, I'll try and get more stuff going next week. I'm just hoping that I can make it through this uh, this horrible heat wave that we've been having. 
Uh, it's really difficult to do anything outside. Um, the heat has been... ISIS! No. The heat has been uh, ridiculous. It's been in the high 90s to over 100 degrees for a while. And uh, I don't like working in that kind of heat. So, all right. See you guys next time.